It's still a little hot. Uh, we are live. Well, I'm live. Uh, welcome to today's Daily Breather. I'm Sav, and I'm happy that you guys are tuning in. It's, uh, it's actually really nice. Like, I can see a blue sky outside, um, and that's really comforting to me. I'm gonna go take a walk later on today. But, um, since you're tuning in, we're gonna go ahead and light a candle, take a deep breath, I'm gonna play a song, and then I'm gonna recommend a book, uh, that, actually, I haven't finished it, but I just started reading it, and I already love it, so I'm gonna recommend it today. But, uh, first, let's go ahead and light this candle, and this is for, um, all the people on the front lines, from people working in the ER, people working as nurses and doctors, um, to people who are delivering packages, to people who are continuing to make food or work their small businesses, everybody who's kind of putting their time and safety on the line. This is for them. Okay, I'll put this over here. Hopefully that's in frame. Let me double check. Yeah, it's in frame. Okay. Um, so next we're going to take a deep breath. Uh, we're going to breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. And I'm going to try and breathe into my belly because um, I'm supposed to be doing that as a vocalist. Um, but it's also a really good way to feel calm without lifting your shoulders up too high. It's something I'm working on. So we'll go like this. Go one, two, three. I always feel like a million times calmer after I do that. Um, somebody's asking what kind of tea I'm drinking. Um, this is a rose black tea that Oriana had. It's a local co-op in Travers. That I, I got this tea like a month ago, maybe two months ago, and uh, it's still lasting me. So um, I'm going to go ahead and play a song that I wrote um, before we really started touring all that much. I wrote it in a, the basement of my old house, and... This is one that I feel like has continued to stay true even now. Um, every time something rough happens, I play it and I remember that um, it's all about perspective. You know, you look back on snapshots of time and you treat them differently depending on where you stand now. And, uh, no matter what, you're always learning from it, you know. I'm a big fan of learning. <laughs> this song is called Crow's Feet. Your smile is just like a caution sign. Road kill crows feet around your eyes. Blue veins of roads just keep rolling on. Maps to the heart that we dwell upon. And when I'm uncertain, I pull back the curtains to see That when I feel worthless It's cause I've accepted defeat Sunset stains like a nectarine Stop by a belligerent cash machine Gold lines structured and comforting You Ask why I am suffering All that I wanted was something to cradle my faith Sometimes I will lose all I have Just to see what remains Sometimes it's like life is a car crash Hot flash It takes someone bleeding to get you with the end when it's just the beginning don't ask me to hurry and patience is simply the least of my worries a soft expression is just enough answer to keep all the questions at bay we all risk a chance of mistakes we all need a little pain You kept your heart on a glass display The truth is a ridiculous waiting game Sad 
without a conclusion or a part of depression's illusion and crossing the nation we gain confirmation of fact when it's never enough it's because there is nothing attached sometimes a sag of life is a cool crash hunt flash it takes someone bleeding to get you believing a record spinning obsessed with the end when it's just the beginning don't ask me to hurry impatience is simply the least of my worries a soft expression it's just enough answer to keep all the questions at bay we all risk the chance of mistakes Cause we all need a little pain You always believed That you'd never feel in the ache Who knew that the absence Of love is all it takes To change your mind Consider what you've left behind You've only walked into a car crash, hot flash. It takes someone bleeding to wreck you, believing a record spinning. Obsessed with the end when it's just the beginning. Don't ask me to hurry. Impatience is simply the least of my worries. I soft. We all need a little pain same without Michael here or Katie for that matter um well thanks for tuning in I've got a book for you guys today it's called the rest is noise listening to the 20th century it's by Alex Ross and he's a music critic for the New Yorker he's written uh, this really amazing book it's like an anthology of 20th century music talking about the evolution of it and how musicians interact with each other. It's I've only gotten like maybe 30 pages in, but I love it. It's such an amazing exploration of how music affects history and how history affects music, you know? Um, it's really amazing. But yeah, I recommend it. it once again, just in case y'all didn't get it. It's called The Rest is Noise, Listening to the 20th Century by Alex Ross. I'm going to check and see who's here. I see Brian Spar. I see Emily Antonacci. Uh, Steve Miller again. Let's see. Wow. Sierra Baker. Hi. Um, Dan Lauterbur. Marty and Barb. Oh, speaking of which, before I forget, we are playing a show at The Ark on The Ark's Facebook page on May 1st at 8 p.m. Eastern. It's going to be on The Ark and Arbor Facebook. Um, and that's going to be really cool. It's called Ark Family Room Series. And uh, we are now part of it. So mark your calendars, May 1st, 8 p.m. at the Ark Ann Arbor Facebook Live. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in, guys. I will see you tomorrow and the day after that. And I think Michael's going to take over Thursday this week, so stay tuned for that. Love you guys.